this hunt to find Bill Laden Gaff, I, I find it very amazing and amusing. I remember in the Caribbean, whenever the police wanted to shoot up somebody, they will declare that uh, you know he's armed and dangerous. This time they have him in the police station already, okay? And they lock up and they say, oh, he's armed and dangerous. Anybody seems to want to approach him because he's deadly and all that. And then they'll put him in a, in a vehicle and take him out in the, in the woods and tell him run and they're going to practice shooting until they knock him down then I said it was a big shootout and all this stuff again another country I heard that um, a soldier playing that he's a rebel get together a fringe little party that wanted to overthrow the government and he started to train the officers but he said look bring everybody out so we could have one graduation bro and so all of them came out and he had his boys at the back with machine gun and everything waiting for them and when they give the signal he just dropped on the ground and all of them had gun down so I kind of don't believe stupid stuff, you see what I'm saying? Like, okay, they say he's in Pakistan. Well, almost the whole of Pakistan was underwater, so he should be dead by now, right? I mean, I don't know if in a cave you could go up or it's go down or it's go level or whatever, but the whole place was almost flooded and, uh, I mean, yeah, the mountains, but, it, you know, it don't seem as though you went up on a mountain and went to that cave, it, like, it appears as if you went in from the base somebody got to explain that to me if you could still survive in the cave in Pakistan and then they said he was wounded in the Bora Bora um, attack when you live in such primitive conditions if you're wounded to your left side and all that stuff can you survive that do you have medical op operation and all this kind of stuff they don't seem to have no hospital in there like what they had in Vietnam in those caves and then of course we have also uh, Afghanistan well covered People are providing information, they're getting some good bucks and all that, the big prices on Osama. Man, listen, I believe that Osama is dead from even before 911. I mean, if your name will be calling something as big as this, causing three trillion dollars, <laughs> you're gonna be alive, bro. His life don't worth no because you see look, if they if they capture suppose now they capture being with a whole bunch of cameras and the media's there and he's not gone down, okay? So to take him to some trial, whether in the Hague or wherever, and uh, he can say he's he's, not, he's innocent, and and he's gonna produce evidence to show that he's innocent, so he can come back to square one. I remember Bush told him, uh, telling the Congress that he don't want him to investigate 91. So, man, listen, I think we need to start getting people to focus because we seem to be creating the same problem: with folks hating Islamophobia, hating the Muslims, and all that stuff. Let me, you know, just find a way to just let this thing go away. And then just let us continue living because the more we carry on this thing, it's costing us trillions and billions and a whole bunch of money, and we'll end up finding them nada when that money could go to create some jobs, fix the bridges, or whatever, you know. So, up to now, they're still looking for Osama. Man, just forget Osama and just we get out of Iraq, and one day we can get out of Afghanistan. So, you know, I, I don't know, man, this thing. Uh, you know, I don't even study stuff like that. I think I'm one of the guys that have a lot of peace in my heart because from day one, I know where I was on 911. I was studying, I was doing my doctorate in Christian education, had my computer running, had the internet running, had uh, the television running, had a tape running. I was typing a paper and I just watch this thing and I'm saying like, man, give me a break with this thing, okay? And I never really, at, 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 at a point, I started to take on the thing because this was the thing to do and then I started feeling depressed and I told a woman, I said, you know, I'm feeling depressed with this this thing and she said, why don't you go and see a psychiatrist? <laughs> Man, I am out of that. I just, I just snapped out of that foolishness and I just became rational and saying like, you know, I left the government to deal with that man and I just, you know, just have some peace in my soul. So, I don't expect nobody in final summer and I think they need to stop this charade.